What's up everybody, James Graham here. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. If you would, go ahead and click that thumbs up. Just like a like on this video. I really appreciate, I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. It also helps out the channel. But anyway, today it's going to be another upcoming sneaker releases video. We are going to be talking about ones from that are releasing on this weekend and also for the end of the month, for the end of August. So I, cause I, was, I meant to do a video last week, but you know, life got, got in the way. So here we are, we're going to do two weeks worth, one video. I'm not going to show every video or every show, every show, every shoe, easy for me to say, every shoe that's released in, in these two weeks, but just like some of the highlights, some, some I like, some that I, other people might like that I don't necessarily like, but again, not, not every single shoe, but yeah, so. Got my coffee, my Star Wars cup. I'm ready. You ready? Let's get to it. All right. The first one is an Atmos Nike collab on the Air Max ZM950. It seems it's Japanese inspired, which makes sense because Atmos is a Japanese inspired is a Japanese company. But they they've done several other collabs with with Nike before this isn't the first but this one seems to be like really focused in Japan and from what I can tell it looks like it might be a, a Japanese exclusive you might um it says originally released on the Atmos J Japan website on the 15th but now I'm seeing an updated release date of the 19th which would be what today's just, would be Wednesday so if, you, if you're interested in this pair you know, check out the Atmos website because they'd be that'd be give you the best information. And but yeah, I mean it's it's not bad. It's you know pretty pretty basic. It's you know as you can see black, white, gray, hint of red on the check and then on the heel tab it's got the Japanese the Japanese flag and you know, got the white you know sock liner and it's got the black laces it looks like and uh, black tip on the mud garden on the heel cap and. The ZM950 on the pull, you know, on the tongue there. I mean, not a bad looking shoe. It look, looks like it'd be very comfortable. I don't, I don't have any kind of price or anything. They didn't give it. They didn't give a price in the, on Sneaker News, which is where I get all my updates. And so they didn't give a price on anything. So, yeah, I mean, you're, you know, your guess is as good as mine as far as that goes. But yeah, so if you wanted to get that, keep checking the Atmos website. Best I can tell you. I think like the only place that's going to release is on Atmos. The next one from Nike, basketball sneaker. I'm not. I mean, I played basketball, of course, growing up, but I'm not a, not a heat, not a, I don't play it regularly now, and I hadn't played in several years. I've never, never been very good at it. But anyway, it's um, it's a new one from KD, Kevin Durant, in the KD 13 model. It's an Oreo colorway, which we've seen before with other sneakers with Jordans and, sorry, with Jordans and. Adidas, you know, pretty much everybody does some kind of Oreo colorway, you know, black and white colorway. And and now it's on the KD13. So, see, it's, uh, let's see, from what I can tell, it's extremely pattern happy. The grayscale dominated sneakers implement gridlock patterns that covers base constructions. Almost to me, Kind of camo esque on the on the you know on the sole. Then the midsole has kind of got that that splatter that we usually see on on Jordan, especially on Jordan fours and things like that. So, I mean, not a bad looking shoe. I mean, it's, you know, it's scheduled for release on the tw on the twentieth, which will be what? Let's see, Tuesday, Thursday. So, I mean, if you, you know, want to get you a new pair of basketball shoes, these KD thirteens, you wear them pretty much. You know, they're black, white, and gray. I mean, it's pretty. Pretty basic, pretty, you know, anything you want to buy it. Um, like it, and like it can be available everywhere, from what I can tell. You know, Nike and Dick Sporting Goods, Finish Line, Foot Locker, Champs, Foot Action, East Bay. You know, all pretty much anywhere. It's probably you know, it's a wide release. Anybody can probably get it. Probably won't be that hard. Probably won't have to like wake up early to get it. It'll probably still be there. I mean, that's, I mean basketball shoes are, you know, they. It's not, it really is a basketball shoe. It's, I mean, I guess you could probably wear it as a lifestyle sneaker, but it's designed to be basketball. So it seems to have kind of a 
you know, I have it out kind of almost like a, it looks like a rip stop upper on it, you know, kind of, um, like it, you know, you wouldn't be able to tear it real easy. You got the black laces and you know, that white Nike check and get on the tongues, got Kevin Durant, number seven on there. So, I mean, yeah, and again, and like a, and then like a checkered pattern. I mean, yeah, and then I was got Katie and these Katie and red on the, on the heel tab there, which that's pretty, that's a nice little feature. But, you know, I mean, just, you know, pretty, so, I mean, it's a nice basketball shoe. I don't, like I said, I don't, I don't play basketball, so I don't really want to be going after this one. But, you know, kids might like it. I mean, and Kevin Durant, he's a good player. Not a favorite of mine, by any means, but he's a good player. So, you know, if you got a kid that wants to play, likes uh, to play basketball or something, or if you like to play basketball, there you go. All right, we got a, we got another one from, the next one from Nike is the Space Hippie, which if you don't know, the, is all recycled materials like from other shoes that have been trashed and things like that that they come and create these shoes they got four this is going to be the space hippie four which i haven't been told you know they're very comfortable but i mean it's just not for me and apparently you yeah, or not this one this one's got like regular black laces uh you see it's got kind of a pink um coral colorway but they're, they're saying it's red but it looks kind of lightly red but it, nike says it's red is a red and bolt colorway according to nike so you know they they created the shoes, so we'll go with that. But but yeah, these are straight recycled materials. Like that's, I mean, they're, they're kind of they're, the thing about these is that they're straight trash, which technically they are trash. So, but you know, it's the there's four that came out. This is the this is the four model in the Space Hippie retail one hundred thirty dollars, and it's like it's gonna be available Nike sneakers, East Bay. BSTN and End. End was doing a raffle. So if you end clothing, if you don't you're not familiar with them, they're um, I forgot what they're based out of. Let me check on. I'll check on that. Hold on a second. A few moments later. European, so UK based company. Because they were like they're in London and all. But anyway, they got them there. BSTN, which I'm not exactly sure what that is. But says it'll be available 3 a.m. Eastern time on the BSTN. So, but yeah, Nike sneakers. Granted. Probably gonna take an L on Nike sneakers. If that, I mean, I know I, I usually do. I've gotten lucky once since I, my entire life I've used them. So, yeah. But 130 probably will sell out. So if you don't get them on release day, your best bet is probably gonna be um, resale. Which I'm not sure what these gonna go resale for, but yeah, that's probably gonna be your best bet. And then from the also from Nike, the what they're calling the Recycle Canvas Pack, we're gonna be seeing a. I mean, several shoes in this pack. I'm, going, I'm just going to do some all at once, as opposed to each individual shoe. Because I would again, I would just take too long. So there's going to be an Air Max, a couple. I mean, a couple of Air Force Ones, and then Air Maxes, and then Daybreaks, so like a Air Max um, 90 and a I think a 97. If I'm not mistaken, I check, I'll check on that. And then like I said, the two Daybreaks. And from what I can tell is again, Nike's trying to. Is guided by their move to zero movement, which is something they recently started where they're trying to be more environmental, environmentally friendly with their products, using more like recycled materials as opposed to having to create new ones and all that, and all things like that. But it's, it's all part of it. Um, you know, they, yeah, not, yep, I was right. Okay, I'm sorry, 95, not 97. I'm, I'm a 90 Air Max 90 fan, and that's. Pretty much where I stop as far as Air Max. I mean, Air Max ones are fine too, but 90 is my favorite. But yeah, so it's an Air Max 95, Air Max 90, a Daybreak, and a Cortez, and then the two Air Force One. So that's not yeah, yeah, the Cortez and an Air Force and a Daybreak. So, but yeah, I mean, it's a, like a recycled canvas pack is what they're calling it. Uh, Nike on at 10 a.m. seems to be the the place to get these if you want to get them. I mean, look, they're not bad. I mean, there's kind of got, you got the gray and got a, kind of a turquoise and then the, excuse me, some white in there. Yeah, again, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go through every, you know, every, I, I'll show pictures of all of them because I got a, there's a picture here on the website of all of them, but if you want to go, you look into these more, um, actually, yeah, Sneaker news. I'll leave a link down below, like I always do. Kind of, you know, because of course I give them credit because they're they're the ones that giving me this information so I can share it with you all. 
again, thank you for subscribing and watching the video. But yeah, this so is, I mean, I, eh, they're okay. I mean, they're nice. I mean, I like them. You know, it's the fact that they're, you know, trying to, you know, help the environment and, you know, recycle the materials and all that. That's great. I mean, it really is. But, nah, just, I mean, not for me, you know, like I said, I got, there's plenty of other shoes out there that I would, would rather have, you know, if I got these, I would, I'd probably try to flip them as quick as I could. All right, so that's pretty much going to wrap it up for the 20th, I mean, pretty much the recycle pack is pretty much the big thing, but on the 21st, one, the shoe I'm most excited about, which I, I, I mean, I, I, I like this a lot. Again, it'll probably be another L, but yeah, it's not. It's a good looking shoe, I think. It's the is a Nike Dunk Low SP in the Samba colorway. Is what they're calling this. This is a red, white, blue, and gray, which you know, pretty you know, pretty basic colorway. But to, to me, it's a nice looking shoe. I, I like this a lot. Um, it's a. It goes, it goes back to the 2001 Japanese exclusive Dunk Low Samba, but now, but now we're getting it. Here we are, <laughs> what 19 years later. <laughs> here we are getting it in America, and it looks like it'll be on the 21st. Originally, it was set to release the 20th, but they've decided, okay, nope, we're going to do it on 21st for whatever reason. I don't know, but uh, the. This one's probably expected to sell out like immediately and then it's going to, you know, resell for, you know, whatever, probably 500 at least, something like that. Because Dunks are doing like amazing right now. I think I mentioned that in the last video. Dunks are just, I mean, they're skyrocketing. Even their $100 retail, people are quadrupling their money easy. So, yes, Nike sneakers, the Samba colorway, $100 retail. All right, as you may or may not know, the Reebok Question Mid OGs have come back with several different colorways in the last few months. This time it's in the Red Toe colorway. It's, from what I, it's a suede, I think it's a suede toe. You know, it's got the red, you know, Question Mid is obviously made famous by Allen Iverson. So, yeah, it's a suede red toe question from 1996. It goes back to 1996 for this one. So, and here we are. Yeah, back in uh, Reebok announced um, back in twenty nine December of twenty nineteen, Reebok announced that they're going to be kind of highlighting some of the shoes and all by of um, Allen Iverson, and this is just another one because this you know obviously the Sixers and they wear the red and a little, a little bit lighter blue um, jerseys, kind of a retro style jerseys, but yeah, was, you know, and it looks like it's going to be a for us, for us men, a retail price of 140. Yeah, not not bad, not bad at all. Battery's getting ready to die. Camera's getting ready to die. Battery's getting low. So if that happens, I'll switch it out. But until then, we'll keep talking. But yeah, it's gonna be available on Reebok at noon. I'm sorry, not at noon, at midnight. And then Foot Locker, East Bay, Foot Action, Champs, all 10 a.m. So these, this will probably sell out relatively quick. I don't, maybe not like in, I don't know how soon, but it'll probably sell out. I mean, cause these seem to be doing pretty good as well. I mean, people are like, people like these, especially people my age that grew up watching Allen Iverson and you know, they like these. I'm, I'm not a fan of these. I mean, I'm, I, I would, I won't go after them, but you know, if you like them, more power to you. Good luck. You know, there's plenty, you got plenty of options. So, you know, good luck to you. Uh, you know, like I said, it's got the suede red toe, and like the rest of it's, you know, the rest of the upper is leather, but red, white, and blue colorway. So, you know, not a, again, not a bad looking shoe, but just not, not for me. I'm good. But on, so on the 22nd, looks like we got an Air Max 90 and an Air Max 1 in what is Nike is referring to as the Remix Pack. So, the, start with the Air Max 90. I mean, it's got like a, a little bit like a hunter green, brown, gray, red, black, white. I, like I said, I, I'm not. I'm a fan of the '90s, but this one just doesn't do it for me quite. It's like a mixture of materials, like a little bit of a jean, a jean material on there, and leather. 
Yeah, I don't, maybe a little bit of suede on the tongue or something, some kind of soft suede or something. I, I don't know. That's, yeah, I can't get down with this one. It comes out twenty second. Foot Locker East Bay Foot Action Champs. So it's gonna, it's not gonna be like a super hype release or limited release. You, like I said, you can get it at your local, local shoe stores for at least the ninety. Um, see, if I can find it up. Yeah, and I don't even see a price on here, but it's, you know, over a hundred dollars, I'm sure. Just because it's an Air Max 90. But yeah, really, except for the 22nd. Um, yeah, and the, now the the one is a little bit better. It's black, white, and gray. It's not so, it's like, it's like yeah, some suede on there and some knit. So, some soft leather. A little bit better, a little bit more, you know, um, a little bit, a little more of a wearable color. I think you, you wouldn't. It wouldn't be. It's not so, so flashy as the other one. Uh, again, Foot Locker East Bay Foot Action Champs. So, and then, I don't think you have to call your local store see if they're doing raffles for these or not. I'm not sure. It's because sometimes stores will they'll do that. I mean, especially, especially right now with the pandemic going on, I'm not sure how they're doing things in store. But yeah, no, again, no, no pricing on these. Just yet. All right, we're back. Sorry about that. So yeah, now yeah, like I said, um, August twenty third through twenty ninth is gonna be Mamba Week, and it looks like there's about five different colorways of the five, of the Pro Tros releasing. I don't know, this is releasing. This is releasing this whole week or just in general. Uh, yeah, or is it just? Let me see what I can find out. Yeah, it's like they're gonna be the Bruce Lee's and the Undefeated also. For, Several release for later this year. So I was like, shoot, I get my hands on them Bruce Lee's. Whew. But yeah, if you don't know, look it up. Um, but yeah, it was like a retail price of 180, but it's like, yeah, the, the black and gold and the Lakers colorway, the two undefeated, what if, and then just the white and gold one, and then like the EYBL girls. So again, it, um, I don't know if they're all. Yeah, okay. So the yeah, between so this week, so the twenty third for the big stage, the twenty fourth for the five time champ and the EYBL girls the twenty ninth. And then his jersey the twenty fourth. Um uh, yeah, Nike sneakers is gonna be the place to get all these. And it's like random times, like the big stage is on the twenty third at two o'clock. The other ones are at ten AM, so you know, just keep keep your eye out on the Nike sneakers app. Be your best bet. Uh, again, just not not something. I'm not going after any of these. I just, yeah, it's just I mean, I'm not really a fan of any of them. Like I said, they're more of a, it's a basketball sneaker, pretty much. And yeah, people are going to be getting, going after them because they, you know, whatever they like, they like Kobe, or they just want to get them and flip them really quick. I don't know, but I'm good. I'm good on these. Seven, now the 28th, first one from Adidas. I really I think is worth talking about. Is the Marvel Spider-Man and Donovan Mitchell launch, the Adidas Dawn issue two? Now this colorway, I mean, it's super bright. It's super bright, but I I, I like it. I'm a fan. I am definitely a fan of this one. Um, bowl basketball games, well, uh, as we know, are well underway. People, are, you know, teams are back playing basketball. Um, Donovan Mitchell and his Three Stripes team officially announced initiatives related to their newest signature sneaker, the Adidas. D-O-N issue number two uh, debuted towards the end of the month. Again, it's a basketball sneaker, but it's pretty neat. It's, um, in terms of its design, the colorway they're calling the Spidey Sense. Again, Spider-Man uh, themed. Shirley is one of the louder personalities and majority constructions submerged between glory green and signal green. So it's the two different greens is what you have there. You get them the glow in the dark capabilities, solar red as accents on there. And it's going to be available on August 28th on Adidas.com for $100. Now, this might be easy to get because it's, you know, it's a very unique sneaker. It's not going to be, it's not the easiest to wear, I don't think, but I like it a lot. I think it's really neat. You know, it's flashy, but it's it's really cool. I mean, I, I like it a lot. I probably won't go after it, but I, I like it. I do. Like, that's awesome. I saw somebody, like, those are cool sneakers. I like those. So, good luck to you if you want to go after those yourself or, you know, you but yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. 
trying to, you know, just looking at some closer pictures. It looks like some, almost like, again, like a ripstop material. Got some leather on there. Just, yeah, different materials. Um, as they got a, the two greens and accents out of the red. Again, probably a very hard shoe to wear. I feel like it'd be, you know, be hard to match it unless you, I mean, you're playing basketball in it. But I just feel like it'd be hard to wear. So, but it's a good looking shoe. And it, um, like men's and grade school sizes, $100, August 28th, Adidas.com. And last one I want to talk about that I, I, I personally really like from, come from New Balance in the 997 model. They call it the Multicolor. Uh, set for, I get uh, probably close to the end of the month. It's going to newbalance.com. Price tag of $230, which I definitely won't be going after these, but I like them a lot. I mean, they're really cool. Bunch of different colors, bunch of bright colors. You know, might be might be a little late in the year for these, though. I don't know. I felt like it's, maybe it should have been, like, a little bit closer to spring, because it's kind of a springtime shoe with all these colors. <gasps> Excuse me, with these colors. But I like these. I like these a lot. It's like, a, you know, all these leathers on there. Or, I mean, leather suede's on there. Suede panels. But, hey, you might be able to wear them fall. I mean, who am I? to say what's what you can wear any time of year whatever you want to wear so um but yeah it's, i mean it's good looking shoe because you know good, mostly suede panels all the different colors i mean obviously you could probably wear it with just about just about anything because the color is probably there <laughs> if it's in your closet it's probably on the shoe but yeah 230 dollars newbalance.com seems to be like the only place you're gonna be able to get these no set release date per se but it's like yeah, Nike sneakers just, or somebody sneaker news just has August. So, but it's in the New Balance 997 colorway, multicolor, $230, newbalance.com. But yeah, that's going to wrap up this video. If you would, slap a like on the video. Drop a comment down below. Let me know which one of these shoes you like, which one you don't like. If you're going to go after one, let me know which one you're going to go after. So we can, you know, we can talk about it. And I always respond to my, to my comments whenever I get them. So. Thank you again. Thank you so much for watching. Click the notification bell so you'll be notified each and every time I drop a video. Of course, subscribe to the channel. Again, thank you so much for watching. God bless. I'm out.